Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Catch You on the Pip Side. My name is Leah Stark, and I'm going to record a video for you to show you how to download MetaTrader 5 to your PC and be able to install a template file that allows you to see um, and trade with the DeLorean EMAs and TDI that we are all familiar with. Um, so the first thing I want to do is make sure that you have downloaded um, the DeLorean TDI template that was sent to you or that you would receive from a couple of different locations. So make sure that you already have that downloaded. And then we're going to go to the browser of your choice. I'm using Google and I'm searching MetaTrader 5. Um, so I am going to scroll down past all of these ads and see here is their website. And they have this handy dandy download button that takes you directly to where you need to go on their site. So we are going to download for MetaTrader 5 for Windows. Please ignore these other options unless you're a programmer and know how to use them. Um, okay, so um, the executable file has been downloaded. And here from a little pop-up, we can open. We could also go to our download folder. I like to keep um, a folder pinned in my little taskbar so that I can easily access different folders. Um, so you can see here it is in my downloads. But anyway, um, back to the browser, I'm just gonna use open. This is quite a large file. I'm gonna also say, yes, I want to allow it to accept or make changes to my computer. Um, depending on your download speeds and your um, computer processor, this may take you a little bit longer. Um, so just know that it is a large file and that um, it might take a bit. So that was pretty quick for us here online. I'm gonna say finish. Don't worry about this that pops up on the website. MetaTrader 5 program itself should open just like it did for me here. And so um, the first thing it wants me to do is to open an account. And if you already have a demo account with a broker, this is where you can search for it. This popped up automatically. If it did not come up for you automatically, you can also go to, um, here, I'll close this. You can go to View, Navigator, mine is open over here. You can right click on this and say open an account. It takes me to the same place. So I'm gonna log into my Fusion account, my demo. I'm gonna find the company. So this is where you would search and find whomever you use and say next. And then I have a couple of different options. So if you don't have a demo account already set up, you can use this and it will ask you for some information about yourself and um, we'll send you a new login via email. Or if you already have an existing account, this is where you'll log in. So I'm just gonna um, paste my credentials over here, which I have on another screen. And then, um, Going to also make sure that we are logged into our demo account. You need to toggle between these. One other important thing to note is that if you're using an MT4 demo account already, it will not work on MT5. You do need to ask your broker to open you specifically a MT5 demo account. So now I'm going to say finish. And it has sent us a little notification here and um, close this. Now, if I open this little accounts drop down, I can see here that my Fusion Markets demo account, this account number is open, logged in on this computer. You can also check down here in the bottom corner and see that there is data transferring between the broker and my computer. So these are a number of different pairs that we are not interested in for the purpose of this call. So I'm gonna just remove them all. Market Watch, you also get this through view. This is where you can add different pairs, where you can see different pieces of information. And US 30 is not on here. You have a couple of options. You can say show all, and that will show you everything that the broker has to offer. And, or you can come here and start typing whatever it is that you are looking for. I'm looking for US 30. So I'm gonna click it and hit enter. If your broker uses Dow Jones or like DJ 30 or Wall Street 30 might be another term that is used for it. 
um, just know what your broker uses and then you should be able to find it that way. So I have clicked and dragged this symbol over to uh, the chart area. And now I have a chart that looks nothing like what we use on an everyday, um, but I want it to look the same. So if you remember earlier, we have our um, downloaded template file already. I'm going to come into that folder and I'm going to right click to copy, or I could use control C, whatever you prefer. And I can close that and I'm gonna come back now to Fusion, uh, or sorry, pardon me, to MT5 and go to file, open data folder, go to MQL5, down to profiles and templates. And now if I come in here, um, it already has a couple that are by, added by default. I'm going to right click and paste, or you could do control V, which would also, if you're using keyboard shortcuts, typically continue to use the same thing for each time. There are some programs that don't let you use them interchangeably. Um, okay, so now we've done that and it looks exactly the same. What we need to do in order to allow our new addition to take um, effect, so we need to close uh, MT5. And one other little tip, I forgot to do it initially. When it opens down here, I love to right click and pin it to my taskbar. That way I always have the programs that I use frequently at my fingertips. So um, now it still looks the same. I'm going to right click wherever the screen is blank. So yours might be black or white or however it comes up. Um, so right click and go to templates. And you can see here, DeLorean with TDI is an option for us. So if I click that, now that looks more familiar. I'm going to right click again. I'm gonna take off the grid so it just looks nice and clean. I'm gonna close that because I don't need it. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm going over to the one minute time frame. Um, or five or whatever, you can have multiple um, little boxes up on your grid here and you can see them all. Um, but I, uh, I'm just using the one currently. So uh, one last thing that I want to do is I want to add a, um, what is it? Sorry, I wanna know how much, uh, how many points are in the candle that we're looking at. So I'm going to say show real volumes and say, okay. Oops, no, pardon me. I'm going to go show tick volumes. There we go. And now I can see the current candle has 1.79 points in it. These are in pipettes. So do remember that you have to move the decimal places by two in order to know how many points are in that current candle. And that hopefully has shown you what you need to do in order to get MT5 downloaded on your PC so that you can trade directly on your computer and make it look like the charts that we're familiar with using with the five DeLorean EMAs. Thank you so much. I hope this has been helpful for you and we will catch you on the PIP side.